What's up, Nature Freaks? Happy New Year, Nature Freaks. That's right, Dave and Jeremy back again with another Saturday in the face. Yep, now today we felt the need to make this video because we've been getting a lot of hateful comments about a video that we released showing a racer eating a baby cotton mouth, and people in the comments are trying to tell us that it's a copperhead. Yeah, so we kind of got sick of the, you're a big dumb idiot and can't identify snakes, or, or, all those comments. So we want to clear that up and teach people how to actually identify a copperhead versus a cottonmouth. All right, so let's get right to it. Do it. Nature in your face! All right, so let's talk about the juveniles first because this is definitely the cause of most of the confusion. Both species have a yellowish green tail tip, a caudal lure, which they use to attract prey. And they're eventually gonna lose that as they grow. But uh, in the comments, people were oh, yeah. saying to us that uh, we know it's a copperhead because it has a yellow tail tip. Both of them have a yellow tail tip. It is not a way to differentiate the two species. Yeah, that was a common comment. And then I think the, I think one of the most confusing is you got a uh, green tail tip, but then unfortunately, the juvenile cottonmouth has a reddish tint all along its back. So if you're looking for that green tail tip and then a reddish color because it's a copperhead, that's going to confuse you. All right. <laughs> all right, now let's talk about the body and the head of the copperhead. Okay. Uh, same, same genus. Same, same genus. genus. So they're built similar. Uh, as they grow, the cottonmouth will get bigger than the copperhead. But as juveniles, they're pretty much the same size, same build. So I can see again why people would get confused. Where you're really going to be able to tell the difference is, is the head. Yeah. So let's start with the cottonmouth because <clears throat> this is if you if you can learn this. You got it every single time. Doesn't matter if it's a juvenile or if it's an adult. That cotton mouth has that black mass stripe through its face, through the eye. Um, so you if you have a hard time seeing the eye a lot of the times, picking it out because of that stripe on the face. The copperhead does not have a mask. Right, but it does no have, black mask. But it does have a kind of a two tone color in between the eye and the bottom jaw. There's a lighter stripe. Um, it's almost what you call it, like a, a cream colored stripe. And yeah. then it's just a little bit darker above the eye on the head. So that is probably the easiest way to tell the difference. Just look for that black stripe. Yeah, and you can see in the comparison with the heads there, you got a black stripe and then you have like a tannish copper head meets a cream face, but the eye on the copper head stands out. It really does have a really pretty eye, easy to see. Yeah, now this kind of has to do with color. But another easy way to tell the two is if you were to approach or if you were to see a cottonmouth or a copperhead, you didn't know what it was, the cottonmouth is the only one that will gape. You know, it will show that white lining in the mouth. That's never going to happen with a copperhead. So, and, and you know, not all cottonmouths are going to gape. No, but so if it, it does, confusing. but if it does, it you know, cottonmouth. boom, cottonmouth. There's no confusing the two. Yeah, now let's break this down. This is a little more technical here. The pattern. So if you can't figure out the head for some reason, or you're seeing an image, color blind or yeah, or maybe someone sends you a picture and there's no head, it's not clear. You can see the body. They do have a very different um, pattern. So let's start with the cottonmouth. They have a what people refer to as the bullseye mm -hmm. pattern. So you kind of get a pattern along the edges uh, with some dots in the middle, and the pattern is 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 jagged. It's not real clean. It's super pixelated, almost like digicam would look, um, so that's one, so not a super clean bullseye pattern, and it's very like thick black lines. Yeah, and the copperhead on the other hand is a very clean pattern, and what looks almost like Hershey's Kisses on the side, so you know how they're shaped like that, so that, uh, but I think the clean pattern is probably the easiest way, because they do look <clears throat> similar when you look at them, but definitely a much cleaner pattern on the copperhead. Yeah, and I've also heard it referred to as from the Hershey Kiss from the side of the copperhead, if you were to see it from up top and maybe you can't see the Hershey Kiss, it looks like hourglass laid on. But like Dave was saying, incredibly clean, almost like a pencil line drawn on that copper as opposed to the cotton mouth. Yeah, and one other thing, as they start entering or becoming less juvenile, I'll say, mm. the cotton mouths darken. They're, they're, in fact, the adults are almost solid black or brown, whereas the copperhead can be a different variety of colors. We've seen rusty orange colored ones, we've seen almost beige colored ones, gray ones, so there's definitely a varied pattern 
in the copperheads that the cotton mouth will not have as adults. Yeah, that's true. So I think for the most part, people get have um, trouble differentiating the two as juveniles. And usually as adults, you don't because if you see that cotton mouth, not what, eight times out of 10, they're almost all black. Um, I know that a lot of the Florida cotton mouths keep their lighter pattern. I have seen on one occasion on an online forum it was a cotton mouth that had been in some high iron water. And so the back of it mm. was all orange. And um, I've seen those in the wild. I think we saw one of those in Florida. Yeah. The back was like orange from the mm -hmm. water. And some people were calling it a copperhead. But once again, if you go back to the head, black mask, um, that's going to save you. So if you can get those two down right there, uh, you're going to be pretty good there. Yeah, and in the video that we made, I should have made this clear, it's a racer eating a juvenile cottonmouth. So mm -hmm. if it was, you know, obviously a larger species or specimen, it may may not have caused as much confusion. But and we can see why people for sure, you know, have trouble differentiating the two species. But, but what bothers us is people come at us with these hateful comments as if we are wrong. Oh, the internet. And they're just embarrassing <laughs> themselves. Yeah, I'm on the internet, I guess. It's good so. and bad. It's great for the algorithm. Yeah, but thank it's, you. it's obnoxious, you know, when people are Cussing. swearing at us <laughs> and, and, and telling us that we don't know what we're talking about. When it comes to those two snakes, we know what we're talking about. I mean, I can, I can glance at a picture, bam, that's cotton mouth or that's a copperhead. No hesitation. Um, we don't need to think about it. So. Yeah, definitely check out that video. It's kind of uh, buried in there, but if you search just like, yeah. racer, you'll see it. It's a really cool video. We were down in southern Illinois and we witnessed a racer literally attack and eat a cottonmouth. And it, while this is happening, the cottonmouth slams its fangs. Multiple times it was envenomated, the racer. Yeah, really, really cool video. Which sparked another conversation. Are racers, you know, immune or intolerant to the venom? Which not obvious. Obvious. There's, not, there's not a lot of studies based on that, like there are king snakes. So, hey, yeah. if you want to talk about that, we can do that too. But I hope you guys got something out of this and now you can tell the difference between those two snakes. And more importantly, you can lay off on the hateful comments and you can admit you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, like Catchy and Creation would say, that ain't no copperhead. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and we will see you on the next Saturday Slap in the Face. Peace.